Hello students, uh, so today pharmacognosy and phytochemistry one exam it is going on right so uh, let us have the review of the question paper and how the answer is supposed to be so that you will be also able to assess that what you have written and in that uh, out of that how much marks you are supposed to get right so coming to the part one that is the short term questions uh, two marks uh, it is for right so in that first question it is define crude drugs organized and unorganized drugs right so as you know that uh, crude drugs uh, these are up uh, these are the natural drugs obtained from plant and animal uh, in that natural substances supposed to be there and which is only processes uh, for the collection and uh, drying right so that we have already discussed uh, that you should write coming to the organized crude drugs these are the a uh, drug which is having cellular arrangement right the cellular arrangement it will be properly and the microscopic study we can do for those drugs like uh, syn syncona bark cinnamon bark rolfia root all those unorganized crude drugs they are not organized the cellular arrangement it will not be organized and uh, microscopical study it is not possible for them like aloe vera juice extract uh, like uh, right uh, so many uh, katechu it is there right so like that uh, coming to the second question uh, under part a b question number b what are the various types of adult trends right so the adult trends word has come from adulteration so right so adulteration it is uh, uh, two types uh, intentional and unintentional so adult trend also will be there two types uh, basically uh, intentional adult trends and unintentional adult trends coming to the intentional adult trends means those which will, the adulteration will be done knowingly for example uh, sand particles we can mix uh, into the different drugs uh, stone it is mi being mixed uh, then any mud uh, powder also can be mixed along with the powder drug water also it is being mixing with the milk and other drug like right? colors also right so in raul fear root colophony so many example we have seen so that thing you can write as a example coming to the unintentional adulteration means like a uh, uh, similarity in morphology we are using similar plant part we can uh, uh, unknowingly we are mixing then uh, dropping of the rodents like so many uh, uh, rodent droppings like uh, their uh, waste products also can be mixed along with the drug in senna uh, leaf uh, the same types of senna species it is available tenuely senna alexander and senna so similar looking plants we are mixing uh, un unknowingly or unintentional that also can be uh, the example coming to the question number 3 uh, c question write the advantages of sexual method of propagation so what are the sexual method sexual method of propagation it is nothing but vegetative propagation right so there we are using the plant part uh, a root stem uh, stolon suckers and other things so what are the advantages maybe it may be easily germination need not to wait for the seeds uh, hybrid quality can be achieved uh, and a good quantity of phytoconstituents uh, we are able to get right so these may be the advantages you can write coming to the question number four or question number d define artificial mutation and the polypolyidy right so uh, as the name indicate artificial means by men right so uh, mutation can be uh, physical and uh, chemical so uh, coming to the physical muta uh, mutagens or mutants uh, ionizing agents you can uh, ionizing radiation you can write down x-ray uv rays and all those things can be uh, for the seed germination to increase seed germination we are using chemical artificial mutants means alkylating agents are there and other chemicals are there which is being used to uh, sudden changes of gene coming to the polypolarity we know that it is nothing but more than two complete sets of chromosome when we are processing for to get the good quality of medicinal crop uh, we are using these things so that you can write down coming to the e question number e what are the advantages of edible vaccine so edible vaccine is nothing but eat worthy vaccine the vaccine which we can eat or we have to eat uh, while taking right so uh, what are the advantages you, you, you are supposed to write here Do, don't explain the edible vaccines directly come to the advantages mass produced we can go for mass production it is economical it can be administered by eating or oral route stored at uh, normal room temperature we know we need not to keep any temperature uh, maintenance transportation is easy so these are the advantages you can write here coming to the f question number f what is the role of auxin in plant growth regulators so uh, um, don't try, try to write the all the uh, plant growth regulators and their role of auxin only it has been asked here so uh, it is uh, useful into the shoot growth uh, 
the role is cell growth uh, elongation of the plant uh, part uh, cell multiplication these things you can write on the role of auxin only right coming to the next uh, question number g what are fibers write the sources of fibers with examples right remember with examples right so what are the fibers fibers means uh, you can tell the it is nothing but hair like raw materials directly obtained from plant animal and mineral origin so coming to the example you can write down the example cotton jute silk these are the famous for cotton you can write the botanical name gossypium herbaceum belong to the family malvaceae then jute for jute you can write down corcorus capsularis uh, belong to the family tiliaceae so this is the complete answer coming to the question number h uh, what are the teratogens with uh, give examples so teratogens are nothing but any agent that disrupts the baby's growth when exposed during pregnancy that uh, many a times i told in the class so that is the uh, teratogens examples you can write down alcohol smoking toxicant any chemicals any radiation any virus which can damage the fetus growth under the uterus right they are coming to the question number i what uh, write the chemical test for carbohydrates right so uh, there are so many chemical tests like uh, molish reagent test uh, failing uh, reagent test uh, benedict test uh, iodine test uh, tolens uh, reagent test uh, sodium hydroxide test uh, so in uh, that you can write it down here right coming to the next question number j define saponification value and iodine value this is this question is from the lipid section right so saponification value it is nothing but it is the number of milligram of uh, potassium hydroxide koh needed to neutralize fatty acids obtained by complete hydrolysis of 1 gram of oil sample it may be coconut oil chaul mongra oil or olive oil castor oil whatever oil right for that we are determining the saponification value coming to the next one iodine value it is nothing but number of gram of iodine absorbed by the 100 gram of fat or oil sample may be coconut oil chaul mongra oil castor oil whatever it is right coming to the part b part b answer any two question 10 marks question students it is very important to uh, write properly here because it is more marks so coming to the first question write in detail about microscopic method used in quality assessment of crude drugs so microscopic method only it has been asked before writing to the all the evaluation parameters you should concentrate what has been asked so here you are supposed to write uh, uh, the how to how to evaluate the crude drug like uh, stomatal number you can write down stomatal index uh, with formula you can write down vein islet number vein termination number palisade ratio you can write down lycopodium spore method uh, length and width of uh, ginger fibers uh, whatever the practical we have done basically into the pharmacognosy lab that all those things are nothing but microscopical evaluation of crude drugs that that entire practical you can write down even extractive uh, extractive value as value no no wherever we have used the microscopy right microscope we have used a compound microscope those all practical you can write down here students with the example like uh, right so uh, this is the uh, thing here coming to the question number b under part b write about the factor influencing cultivation of medicinal plant or it is nothing but factor affecting the cultivation of medicinal plant so here we have seen uh, altitude it is very important what is the level from uh, c uh, c level uh, what is the height from the c level that we can write down uh, with example t sincona uh, t sincona coffee we have used uh, like uh, how much fahrenheit 95 to 75 75 to 30 so that example with example you can write down temperature uh, uh, here in meter 1500 to 2000 meter 2000 to uh, uh, 1500 1000 to 2000 meter for different example we have seen in the altitude in temperature also uh, certain examples uh, t sincona coffee it is there already rainfall it is very important what is the annual rainfall supposed to be there how the rainfall it is going to affect the cultivation of medicinal plant soil fertility how much soil fertility supposed to be there what are the things supposed to be the macro element micro element carbon nitrogen fixing bacteria rhizobium and all those things day light and day length you can write down how the interference uh, it is having like mentha piprita we have seen the example in the mentha how uh, menthaphyrone menthol and uh, all those things it is uh, getting produced uh, whereas in the day uh, short day it is not going to biosynthesize in that paste it is there so many paste uh, microbes fungus uh, 
rodent non rodent vertebrates invertebrates those things can be written very nice uh, answer can be written for these questions uh, maybe uh, four to six page can be written very nicely in effective way so it left to you how you have prepared uh, coming to the third question c number write the biological source chemical constants and identification test and uses of stars castor oil gelatin right so when you are writing stars so many starch uh, uh, source we have seen like potato rice uh, and uh, so many other grains maize and all those things so rice uh, starch also oryza sativa you can write down graminiae family right so that you can write down in details like what are the other cultivation parameters uh, chemical constants uses and all those things coming to the castor oils uh, resinous communis uh, that is the botanical name it belongs to the euphorbiaceae family uh, then you can write down here method of preparation how the cold expression is adopted for the castor oil uh, uh, extraction and uh, what are the other chemical constants used and all those things nicely you can write down gelatin like uh, it is obtained from the different animal bones and the tendon ligament like example bosch taurus is the example of animal boidae family it belongs to the so uh, basically a uh, scientific name supposed to be very proper when you are writing this kind of question like uh, then then only biological source is very very important here we, when we are writing coming to the part c uh, any uh, answer any seven questions like discuss the pharmacological classification of root drugs so here we can write down drug acting on GAT like emetic uh, and uh, uh, appetite how the appetite is increasing anti emetic uh, like the drug acting on CNS drug acting on respiratory tract drug acting on the autonomic nervous system then anti cancer drug anti helminthic drug all those things with example properly you can give in the pharmacological classification coming to the b enlist various source of crude drugs add a note on crude drugs from animal sources right so various source means plant sources their mineral source microorganism source marine source and here especially add a note on uh, animal sources drugs so animal sources drug castor oil cod liver oil then uh, fish fish oil uh, then uh, uh, so many enzymes are there chemotrypsin trypsin uh, recently we have seen gelatin is the one of the example which we are getting from animal right so likewise what are the animal you can separate and you can write down in a effective manner question number c uh, write the application of plant hormones with examples right so uh, auxin zebulin cytokinin abscessic acid uh, ethylene those things you can write down their example in dolacetic acid and all those things and uh, how their role it is playing in the plant growth elongation cell multiplication and uh, all those things that can be written in effective way coming to the question number d write a note on uh, uh, garbling and storage of crude drugs garbling means it is nothing but uh, we have to remove the unwanted part from the crude drugs and we have to dry it properly and uh, uh, after the screening and sheaving uh, the main drug has to be stored in the proper way like in airtight container in the proper boxes so that it cannot affect by affected by the temperature moisture uh, and uh, all other uh, physical uh, uh, factors right so that we have to take care that we have to write in the with the proper example in a proper way uh, write about type of culture and the nutrient medium required for plant tissue culture so different types of cultures it is their callous culture single cell culture right different cultures and nutrient medium uh, it is required like macro elements micro elements carbon source uh, nitrogen source like sodium potassium uh, iron calcium magnesium uh, zinc cobalt magnesium so many things it is there uh, it is uh, in effective way that you can write down uh, coming to the question number f write a note on natural allergens so what are the natural allergens like pollens uh, then uh, different types of plant uh, plant products uh, animal products uh, from wherever the allergy can be happen uh, allergic reaction can happen even the touch inhalation or any types of injection if it is inserting into the biological system whatever the types of uh, allergic reaction it is producing those examples you can explain here which you have studied already coming to the question number g write a source of chemical constants identification test of bentonite and uh, absorbent cotton right so uh, here you can write down about uh, the things uh, uh, absorbent cotton like gossypium what is the part we are using what is the what is the family uh, right from the its uh, composition their uh, chemical constituents uh, uses is very very important that you can write down right uh, like uh, cotton it is used in the surgical uh, surgical cotton in surgery and uh, uh, the what do you call dressing purpose filtering medium and all those things can be written question number h uh, uh, write a note on 
the proteolytic enzymes pepsin and streptokinase right so from uh, these are the uh, what what first of all source is very very important compulsory you should write the source the uh, which animal it is being obtained uh, like uh, uh, ox uh, sheep uh, pig uh, or uh, what bostaurus or something like that so their scientific name you have to mention and the right form it uh, uses how it is being processed uh, how it is the uh, uh, extracting from the animal uh, body that we have to write in a proper way question number i write a note on various classes of medicinal agent from marine sources with example like uh, era c era a uh, then uh, uh, urokinase uh, uro uh, right uh, anti cancer anti inflammatory uh, antiviral anti uh, bacterial so many examples it has given uh, in from the marine source like uh, marine sponge carrageenan alginic acid those are the different products uh, which we are getting from marine or sea or ocean and from there what are the uh, chemicals it is identified uh, for what use if you have to write in the uh, activity wise like antimicrobial what are the examples anti inflammatory what are the example anti cancer what are the example in nicely it has given into the book so according to that you can write it down so uh, as per this uh, uh, whatever the uh, review i have given about about the question paper you can assess what you have written and uh, how much uh, marks you can expect from this exam right from the beginning thank you students and good luck